I'm very excited about a small knife I bought recently because I really like to go in the hoods and sometimes uh, a really a knife, a small knife, a pocket knife comes in hand and I just have some big knives uh, so I bought this one. It's cool, huh? isn't it? Yes, it is. It's small, beautiful, cheap, but we're not talking about that today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Sasha and this one is my channel. Hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today I'm not doing a review, I'm doing a, just a small, a, a short one tutorial about curing, tobacco curing, because I've noticed that on many net juices descriptions you got this cure word it's fire cured it's a virginia flu cured but what does that mean maybe you don't know maybe some people don't know what curing is so i'm here i'm going to explain you so basically the curing process is what happens to the plant after it has been cut before it has been stocked or fermented because there are some tobacco varieties that will be fermented just uh, for example the black cavendish or the perique during this process all the plants will be dried up and the chlorophyll will decay slowly because it doesn't have a very good taste so if it decays slowly it will not be fixed into the leaves and the tobacco will be just better there are not many kinds of curing processes and there are some ways specific to different kinds of tobacco let's start with the easiest one and i think it has been the first one because it's the sun curing what does that mean it's very simple you take your plant you cut it you put it on a rack hang it upside down and you let it dry under the sun it's easy easy if you don't live in a place when it does rain a lot because otherwise it's very very complicated in fact sun curing is typical of middle east and it's typical of oriental tobaccos like basma like latakia which is sun cured and then fire cured but uh, all the orientals basically have been sun cured it's a long process but it doesn't take much effort just uh, put it there let him dry and take it over <laughs> very simple then we got the air curing which is slightly different because all the tobacco plants will be put into racks but inside a barn for example with uh, open air so the air will come into the barn and will dry slowly all the plants air curing is typical of barley tobacco so it's the main method for the tobaccos that will be used for cigarettes there are also other kinds of tobaccos that are air cured for example all the tobaccos used for cigars are air cured and the maryland which is a specific kind of tobacco which is born in maryland <laughs> but you already know maybe air curing is a slow curing method it takes uh, six to eight weeks and uh, usually during all this period the sugar levels of the leaves uh, will be lowered and the nicotine level will be higher so all these kind of tobaccos will have this 
properties because yes the curing process will affect the final product in flavor too not just in a nicotine or sugar level but the flavor is different it depends on which kind of curing you do in some cases the bun will be just a little bit warmed up usually when there's too much humidity because if there's too much humidity you are not able to dry up all the leaves it's easy and if there's humidity maybe some molds will come up and destroy all the harvest so we need some heat but a little bit the third method is the flu curing which is a totally different method all the plants will be in a barn but the barn will be vented with hot air so the curing process will be very fast usually six to seven days and the tobacco leaves will have a higher sugar content and a lower nicotine content this is typical of virginia virginia is the flu cured tobacco and this kind of curing affects the color of the tobacco in fact the first virginia's tobacco were called the bright leaf because the leaf is yellow so inside the bars we got some pipes and in these pipes there's a hot air that is put into the barn and it will heat up many years ago about i don't know 100 or more than 100 years ago coal was used to heat up the air now we are using butane or some other kind of gas and the fourth curing method is fire curing which is typical of kentucky fire cured tobacco i remind you that kentucky fire cured tobacco it's a, a barley there are some specific barley varieties that are used for making the kentucky fire cured tobacco this process is done inside some barns on the base on the floor of the barn there are some woods that are burnt slowly burnt very slowly because it takes uh, maybe six months or maybe more to to complete the process and with the smoke all the leaves will dry up and take the taste of the smoke it's important to use proper kinds of woods usually pines hickory or oak because the woods really affects the aroma the flavor of the final product as i was saying the latakia is a tobacco that is first sun cured and then fire cured so it takes a very very long time to do latakia tobacco so now you know what curing is how those affects the flavor of the tobacco you are buying so if you like uh, smoked flavors uh, i suggest you to take some fire cured like latakia like kentucky and if you like uh, sweet uh, flavors i suggest you to take some virginia flu cured tobaccos and if you want some herbal notes a high level of nicotine low level of sugar let's take some barley or maryland for example oriental tobaccos are very spicy because of the sun curing and usually in the pipe world are not used alone by themselves but used as a condiment in mixtures but probably you are a vapor so maybe you can try them alone and they are good they are very interesting nutty herbal spicy very complex i suggest you to try one of them so i told you it was a short video i hope you like it i hope you find it interesting and uh, by the way it doesn't matter what you vape the only important thing is that you stay away from coffee nails
Ciao!